Merry Math Homework Helpers to all! It's time for a special holiday episode of Math Homework Helpers! Stick around! We'll be right back! With a little help from your friends here on TV. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Welcome everyone to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two very jolly teachers from Hillcrest Elementary School. We have the Sugar Plum King of Toyland, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> and from Chesapeake High School, we have the nuttiest nutcracker of all, Mr. Gosnell. Thanks for the rather festive introduction, Ollie. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have the holidays on your mind. Oh, you bet I do, Mr. Donovan. I can't wait for the holiday break. Max, Polly, and I are all going to meet up for some holiday fun at our favorite destination getaway. Well, that sounds really exciting, Ollie. Where exactly is the destination? Mm, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. We stay away as best we can. I'm not, I'm not really sure I understand what you mean, Ollie. Oh, well, our destination getaway is just that. We get away from our destination. Yeah, we do our best to avoid the destination at all costs. Usually when Max, Polly, and I meet up for our destination getaway, we simply stand still in the same spot for a week or so. That way we clearly stay away from any destination. Wow, you puppets never cease to amaze me. Why, thank you, Mr. Gosnell. I'll take that as a compliment. On that note, let's get the show started. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you'll have the chance to win one of our four very cool prizes from our math homework helpers, Puck to, Prick, Puck to Pick a Prize Wall. That's Mr. Gosnell, what do we have uh, today for prizes? We have an H2O water bottle, a fidget spinner, a squishy guy, and a crazy keychain. Awesome. Very Don't cool. forget that after we help our callers with the math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall. And the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Sounds great. Let's get things moving and go to the phones. The phone number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Ollie, who is our fa uh, first caller of the day? Ah, our first caller today is Nafreen. He's in fifth grade at Honeygo Elementary. Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. We're so glad you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. All right, we are ready. Are we ready, guys? I think we're ready. Okay, I'm let's ready. Do it. Okay, uh, Nafreen, what's your question? Uh, I, I'm stuck in a math homework. Okay. And I want to, like, get help from you guys. Sure. What's sure. your question? Uh, so, it's, do you guys know how to do long division? I think we can handle well, that. Oh, we are I. professionals. I was teaching that today at Hillcrest Elementary School. There you go. Yeah, we're uh, ready. What's your problem? Can, yeah, can you read us the problem, Nafreen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's, like, not a question. It is a question, but like with numbers, 360 divided by 40. Ah, 360 divided by 40. Awesome. We can I do I was this. actually doing the same problem in my math class today. The same problem? Very the nice. Same, the very same problem wow. we did this today. What are the odds? Isn't that crazy? Did I have that right? That was 40? Yep, divided by 40. I think so. That's right. Hmm, so I'm looking at this here, and I'm thinking if I start off with how many times 40 would go into that first number, 3, that's not going to really work out. 3 is way too tiny for me to divide right. 40 mm -hmm. by it. So let's go into 40 into 36. Does that fit? Uh, so 40 
40 times blank equals 36. Oh, okay. Oh, Very cool. nice. Awesome. Oh, so I like your approach like a, there. As a multiplication problem. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Cool. So you instead kind of, I think from what I'm hearing, you kind of saw it like a fact family. Yeah. 40 times some number here gives you 360. And we could kind of rewrite it underneath, too, to show the division problem. 360 divided by 40 would give us our missing number as well, our missing factor, right? And did Nefreen, you gave us that number, right? You already know the answer here? Uh, yeah, uh, here, you I know. It's I think I heard like him. Four times. Yep, you're right. Nine. OK, OK, very good, very good. Yeah. yeah, if we just look at that fact that 4 times 9 is equal to 36, that's yeah. really, really close to the problem that we're kind of looking at here. 4 times uh -huh. 9 equals 36, but we have 40 and 360. So maybe if I add a 0 here or annex a 0, right. yep. 40 yeah. times 9 would give me 360. Oh, look In at that. In my long division here, I would write the 9 up top here. Uh -huh. And I would think, OK, well, 40 times 9 gives me the entire 360. Yeah, so I can write 36 again. Well, yeah, you could write 360, because uh, when you're multiplying 9 by 40, you get 360. But that basic fact that Mr. Gosnell was mentioning was 9 times 4 is going to give you 36. And then if we annex that 0, you'll get 360, and you're left with zero when you subtract. Awesome. Yeah. So so your Yay, answer for no is, remainder. Yeah, your answer, what's your answer in a frame? Uh there's only nine on the top. Yep, nine right. on the top. Good job. There you go. Oh, what? that was easy. <laughs> yeah. That was easy. You used you use what you knew about multiplication to uh to find the basic factor, to find the fact in the fact family. Great job. Mm -hmm. That was impressive. And cool. Nefreen, you know what it's time for now? What? Now it's time for the puck to pick a prize wall. Oh, yeah. What? Good luck. All right. Great job, Nefreen. You want a water bottle. Yay! A BCPS TV water bottle. Look at that. Good job, Nefreen. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. How do I get the water bottle? Uh, we'll, send, we'll mail it to you. Or we'll have Ollie send it. Or Ollie will maybe come visit you, right, Ollie? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Why not? maybe. Yeah. Sure, I'll take the sleigh. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Cool. <laughs> Wait, Thank how are you gonna like visit me? We'll 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 mail you the water bottle most likely, Nefreem. You'll get it. We promise. Yeah, you'll we'll, you'll get it from the principal um, in a, in a few days most likely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your call. Bye bye. So much. All Ollie, right. do you have another caller? Yeah, you guys ready to keep going? Oh, yeah. Okay, on the yeah. phone now, we have Jacqueline from Featherbed Lane. She's in third grade. Hello? Hey, Jacqueline. Hello. How Hi. are you? How are you, Jacqueline? Good. What's your math problem you have that we can help you with? So we're in fourth grade. We're doing division. Oh, okay. okay. Actually... We're doing like estimating quotations. Oh, estimating quotients, I think you mean. Yeah. Estimating quotients. Do you know what a quotient is? Quotient is the answer to a division problem. Great job. Wow, look awesome. At her go. Okay, great. What's your math problem that we can help you with? So it says, uh, okay, it says, oh, Lila wants to place nine two hundred nine bucks on her bookcase. The bookcase has four shelves. About how many bucks will she place on each shelf? Awesome. This is a really cool question. Okay. So, do you know what uh, what math problem, Jacqueline? We're going to be um, doing. Are we going to do four divided by two hundred nine, or are we going to do two hundred nine divided by four? 209 divided by 4. Awesome. You're yep. exactly correct. Good job. Cool. Let's get rid of this and we'll start over, there right? There it goes. Bye-bye. Awesome. So 209 divided by 4. What sort of strategies have you been doing at Featherbed Lane to help you solve this problem, Jacqueline? 
Well, today we did the, like, we were, if, for, like, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, well. That's okay. I can give you a couple of ideas. Well, first of all, but we're going to start with this. We do, after we figure out the problem, we use multiplication to figure, to check our work. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Okay. All right, Jacqueline, well, I have one question for you. If you have 209 books, that's, that's really close to about how many books? 210 books. It is close to 210. I like mm -hmm. that. You know what? We'll look at that first, and then we'll see if we can uh, maybe figure out something that, that fits together a little better. Great job, Jacqueline. Awesome. Now, here's what we talk about in fifth grade, Jacqueline. So maybe you could come back. Um, to your fourth grade classroom at Featherbed, and you could use this strategy. But we like to do is we'll put a box around the four because that's our divisor, and then we're going to put a box around the 21. And those are like our largest two digits in 210. Now, Jacqueline, what I see, can you take 21 and can you put it into four groups equally? Is that like a fact family? Do we have a uh... fact? No, because no. if I go like, if I skip count by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, there isn't a 21. There's only 20 and 25. Perfect. I love yeah. that. You're totally right. She knows 20 her stuff. is close. Is, 20 is a factor to 4. So instead of estimating or rounding this 209 to 210, we could round it to... 200, oh. and then we'll have that basic fact that you just mentioned, right? Oh, look at that. Yes. Cool. So now we have 200 divided by 4, and that's still pretty close to 209, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's like yeah, it's very not that close. far off, right? No. Awesome. Yeah, when you have 209 books, you're only taking away 9 just to look at the problem. That's not too yeah, bad. It's you not have 200, too bad, right? Yeah, and we're just trying to find out about how many or roughly how many, right? Okay, now here's yeah. where things get a little different, Jacqueline. You just told me that 20 divided by 4 gives me how much? Mm, or five? 5. Great yep. job. It's going to give us 5. Awesome job. Now, we have here, though, we have a 1, 0 that we still need to annex into our quotient, okay? So that's what Mr. Gosnell mentioned a second ago. We're going to annex our zero here. And just to be sure, we're going to use multiplication to see if 50 will get us um, 200 if we use multiplication to check. What, what multiplication problem should I write, Jacqueline, if uh, we have 50 as our answer? Um, well, in, in my classroom, we do five or whatever the answer is, and five times four to figure out the, um, right. the answer, if we got yeah. the same answer. But yeah. since we have 200, we're going to put 20, because five times four is 20, and then we're going to annex the zero from our 50. Right, so you're right. We could just write it backwards, and we could use multiplication. I wrote it kind of backwards. But it, you know, it doesn't really matter which way we do it, right? And but, colorful. You but you colorful. said it. 5 times 4 gets us 20. And then if we annex this 0 into our answer, we get an answer of 200. So I think our answer is correct of 50, about 50 books. Does that sound good, Jacqueline? Yes. Awesome job. Great work. That's well, impressive. Thank you. Yeah, she really helped out with that. She did. She knew her stuff. Hey, Jacqueline, you know what it's time now for? Uh, the where you drop the little thingy on the board. Yeah, board. that's right. it. The puck don't pick up prize right. say, say, drop that puck, Jacqueline. Drop that puck. Let's see what you get. Come on. Squishy oh, guy. You're a squishy guy. Nice. Boy, he looks so happy all the time, doesn't he? He does. Yes. Jacqueline, we'll send that out to you. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jacqueline. Bye. Bye-bye.
Wow, lots of division today, lots of multiplication. This is good lots stuff. Lots of division. Yes, yes. Fourth grade division, fifth grade division. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and they're totally related. Right. It's cool. Are you guys ready for another caller? I think we're ready. Yeah, Crazy absolutely. Keychain. So we have Crazy Amber from Norwood on the line. Amber? Hello? Amber, are you there? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for calling. Do you have a math problem to help us solve? Yeah, division two. Oh, oh okay. So look at that. Third grade's doing division Perfect. also. Third, Third fourth, fourth, and fifth. And fifth grade. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're we call ready when you are. Okay. Go for it. Eric plans to read for 25 extra minutes this week. How many extra minutes would he have to read each day if he read an equal amount Monday through Friday? Show a division and multiplication equation that could help you solve the, this problem. Cool. So each day, Monday through Friday, yep. we read for 25 extra minutes. Yep. I think it's 25 minutes total they want to read extra for the week. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. And we were trying to figure out how can we get to 25 minutes over those five days. Right. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Ah. Yep. Five days. Cool. Oh, okay, okay. How many so, minutes each day, basically? I don't know. As soon as I hear something to do with the days of the week, my brain just wants to draw a little bit of a calendar. It's a great idea. There you go. So maybe we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I have uh, to mark the Tuesday and Thursday a little bit different there because the most important we got to know which ones, <laughs> which days did I leave the off weekend. there, Ollie? What? The weekend? Where the weekend? Oh, we're not. I don't know. I, we want to read it's on the, the most weekend? Exciting part. I think they only want to read uh, during the week. Maybe it's like extra oh. minutes at school, we'll say. Oh, I got it. Okay, yes, go ahead. Yes, if we can get this uh, reading done Monday through Friday, we can enjoy the weekend. You right. don't want to divide it by seven, huh? Right. So that might be a little bit more a challenging no. problem. That might wait until fourth grade. Right. Absolutely. Got it. So I'm taking a look. It looks like I have to take these 25 minutes and assign them into five equal groups. So one way to do this would be to choose a number of minutes that you would read for each day. So Amber, if you had to guess an answer to this problem based off of what you see, those 25 minutes in these five calendar boxes, how many minutes do you think it would take each day? Mm. It's okay if you're not sure. Yeah, just yeah, so it's a number. total guess, yeah. and it's okay to be wrong here. Well, I know you could have at least one minute in each day. So let's see what that, that looks like. That would like. only be five minutes. Yeah, if we went and tried to read one minute each day, we would miss our target. One plus one plus one plus one plus one. That would only be five minutes the entire week, and we're way off our goal of 25. So not we enough. definitely want to read more than one minute a week. Hmm. Yeah, the stories don't get good until you're at least three minutes in. Can we do three? <laughs> what about three? We could do three. Let's know. try three. Let's see what it looks like. Just throwing something out there, you know? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Because, you know, stories, you got to stick with them for at least a couple minutes. Yeah, so if we get to the good part of our story and we yeah. read three minutes every single day, sure, it looks go. like we're going to have three minutes, three, 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 three. That adds up to 15 minutes. So oh. we're closer to our goal. Getting closer. Getting but close. we're not quite there. You know, Ollie, you said a number earlier. Maybe not with the number of minutes, but the number of days, seven. seven. So maybe that's just a sign. Let's see if seven works here. There you go. Grab a different color here. Seven. Seven minutes. Seven. That was a beautiful seven. seventh. And seven. Hmm. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. Nope. We seven read too much for our goal. Yeah, we went over. Yep, so that's maybe many. it's somewhere in between three and seven that we have to try. Hmm. If I wasn't really a fan of division, I could try to use um, some sort of manipulative to count out 25 minutes, and I could physically place these into the five different boxes in order for me to find that answer. That could be an alternative strategy here. I think that's a great idea. We could uh, go, OK, one for you, one for you. Oh, well, you could imagine that if I were to drag yeah. those there, one here, one here. That's so, five of them. Yep. I could repeat this process again. Six, Six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I see what 11, you're doing. 12, 13, 13 14, 14 15. 15. And that's where we have our three in each. Mm -hmm. We're getting closer. There's our 15 total. OK, we met that goal. We met that goal. But we have 25 minutes total that we want to read. Going. So we have to keep going. 16, uh, 17, 17, 16, 17 18, 18, 18, 19, 20. 20, close. 21, 22, 22 23, 23, 24, 24. 25. Ah, there we go. Well, thankfully, this works out very nicely with no remainder. I have no minutes left over. It seems like every single day here, Amber, how many minutes do I have to read? Uh, 
Can you see how many are in each in each box for each day? Five. Five. Yep. Great Very job. good. So if I read five minutes each day, five, 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 five. I meet my goal, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 the 25. 25 minutes were read over those five days. We've met our goal, and everyone is happy. And you there said, you Amber, we need to write a division problem and a multiplication problem. Yeah. OK, great. So what division problem do you think we could write? Um, how, many, how many minutes did we start off with? Five. Oh, now that was five each day. How many? In total. Right. Yeah, how many extra how minutes many, did he need? Thanks, Ollie. How many extra minutes did they want to read? 25. There you go. 25. And how many groups did they want to split up those 25 minutes into? Five. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So we're going to divide it by five. And how many minutes each day did, did they read? Five. Perfect. There you go. Five times five. So 25 divided by five gives us five minutes per day. How can we use this same division problem and write it as a multiplication problem to check. Um. I'll give you a hint. We can, uh, the, the opposite of division is called the inverse operation. So we can check it with multiplication, which is the opposite of division. And if we're doing something the opposite way, we're going to go, instead of going forward to or front to back, we're going to go back to front. Oh, we did this a minute ago. Right, we just did it a second ago. Yeah, yeah I really liked uh, Mr. Donovan's strategy of how to approach that. If we went 25, 5, and 5 left to right, we can simply go backwards yep. and write this out. And I even liked how you started off on the other side to really kind yeah. of hammer that in there. Five minutes per day multiplied with the five days equals 25 minutes total read over the week. Look cool. at that. And so, we can even label yeah. that if needed. So our division problem is 25 divided by 5 equals 5. And to check it, Mr. Gosnell did 5 times 5. And that got us those 25 minutes that we started with in the beginning. Yep. Cool. Go. Great job. Amber, does that help you out? A, a lot. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Thank sure. you so good much for your it. call, Amber. We, we like really your appreciate that. it. Well, well, now it's time to drop a puck and see what prize you won. Yeah. Ta -ta -da -da. Amber, can you say drop that puck? Drop that puck. Yeah, right. there you go. And you want a fidget spinner. Oh, cool. Look at that. Very cool. Amber, thank Great you for job, calling. Amber. Thank yeah. you so bye -bye. much. Great job. Oops. Boy, I like All that right. backwards division thing. Yeah, that was pretty cool. cool. It's a nice way that they can, you know, check their answers to make sure they're correct. Yeah, it's like two sides of the same coin, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, you guys ready? Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Alex, what are you doing over there? Hi, Max. How are you? I'm good, man. we got to get ready. i got to start packing all our stuff for our, our destination getaway. Yeah, are you ready to get away from our destination? <laughs> You're darn right I am. Wait, let's show them how we're going to stand. Ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, that's good. That was good stuff. We're, we're really right. getting good now. <laughs> hey, Max, yeah. don't forget to pack the gerbils Yeah, oh, yeah, you got it. I'm going to go get the stuff. I'll start packing now. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, bye. All right, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. That was... I hope he doesn't forget to pack the yogurt. The yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> Pack the yogurt? Was yeah. it the yogurt? Yep. It was the yogurt. And the hamsters. And the hamsters. Yeah, they got they can stay at home by themselves. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Yeah, okay. All right, see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Spate, this, uh, I love that guy. Destination sounds sounds weirder and weirder every time you guys get oh, together. Oh, it's a blast. Just a lot of standing, you know? <laughs> just, a lot, just a hanging, just mm -hmm. hanging out. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for another caller? I think so, yeah. Okay, on the phone now, we have Leland, who's in kindergarten at oh, Pinewood cool. Elementary. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you, Leland? Good. Thank you so much for calling. You're in kindergarten doing math, huh? That's awesome. We're ready to help you with your math problem. What you got? Do you have a math problem for us? Your and Make sure you speak. Off. What's that? Make sure you speak into the phone really nice and loud. There's nine birds on the fence. Okay. Fly off. How many on that? Okay, so you started off with nine birds on the fence, and then what happened to those birds? Three suit. Three, three flew away. Oh, 
okay, oh. cool. Three flew away. So we started with nine birds. This is my kind of problem. This here. is a great question. Bird and on the fence, three watch this. Hmm? Flew Bird on the window. Away. <laughs> awesome. I wonder where they went. Leland, do you know what I think is a great idea? I love to draw pictures of math problems just like this. Now, Leland, I'm not the best artist, okay? So instead of nine okay. birds, I'm just going to write nine Bs, okay? So one, two. Kind of looks like a bird. Three, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, not really. Well, I could of. maybe like, is that kind of like? Okay, a, that's definitely no, a butterfly. All right, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> that's butterfly, definitely a butterfly. Maybe. Kind of a butterfly. Just stick with the bees, Guitar. Mr. Donovan. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Nine birds on a fence, or nine bees on a fence, right? Nine, two, four. Cool. There they are. Now, Leland, if I drew nine Bs, what birds. could I do to show, or what could I do to these birds or the Bs to show that they flew away? What could I do? Show them. Cross them off. Yeah, there you go. Cross them off. Cross them off. That's a great idea. And if three flew away, how many should I cross off? Three. Three, right? Definitely. One. Two, three. Awesome. So if we started with nine birds and three flew away, that's a subtraction problem because th we, um, we took three away. And how many are left, Leland? Can you help me count Six. these? Six. Great yeah, job. There you go. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Great job, Leland. So how many birds are left? Six. Great job. Six birds are left. There we go. Does that help you out? Yeah. Awesome. Great job. We're so glad you called the kindergartner. That's awesome. That hey, awesome do you know what it's time for now, Leland? My cry. You got All right. it, dude. Let's do it. Leland, Absolutely. Can you say drop that puck? Drop that puck. Da -da -da -da. Great job. Da -da 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 -da. Stay hydrated. Bottle. You win a water bottle. Water Yay. bottle. Yay. Delicious. Perfect place to Thank put your water. You. <laughs> Thank Great you. Great job, Leland. Bye-bye. Boy, the birds on the fence, that's like made for me, right? That is. You know? Have you ever sat on a fence? I sit in a windowsill oh, quite okay. a bit. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's but I can't like fly. I'm an ostrich, you know? Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, okay. we kind of yeah. got the short yeah. end of the stick on that. So, you can't so that was a sensitive away. question for you, Ollie. Oh, <sighs> you had to bring it up. Yeah. A little bit. Okay, you guys ready for another caller? I think so. Okay, on the phone now, we have Rika from Pinewood Lane. She's in third grade. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. We're so happy you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Mm hmm We are ready. Go for it. So, I have a question. 465 plus 357, and I need to estimate by rounding to the nearest tenth. 357. Okay, well, can you, um, okay, Rika, can you too. say it one more time? Can you say those numbers just a little slower? 465 plus 357. Okay, 465 plus 357. Okay, and you needed to estimate and round to the nearest what place value? We need to group it. Was that the nearest tens place? Is that, did I hear that correctly? I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, great. Thank you so much for your question. So when I'm looking at these two numbers here, 465 and 357, we can add those, sure, but they're not quite friendly numbers to me. Every I think number's we can friendly. find some friendlier numbers to work with here. So with 465, if I'm looking at this 5 here, would that be rounded up or down? Up. Very good. Okay. So we could, instead of taking a look at 465, we could round that 5 up and even bump up that 6 to get a friendlier number for us to work with. This problem gets really close to a new problem that we're going to make off to the side. How about 357? That's 7 in that 1's place. Is that high enough for us to round it up, or are we going to round it down to a 0? High enough to round it up. We're going to round that one yep. up as well. So instead of 357, we're going to work with a friendly number also like 360. Great. Now, Mr. Donovan, I just have to check with you. Yeah. Is it OK for us to round here ahead of time? 
or do I, we I want to round that, afterwards? Yeah, I think that makes sense because if you're estimating, you don't really want to find out exactly how much. So we want to round before we add so that when we, when we get our answer, it should already be rounded to the nearest tens place value. OK, I think good. That works. Good. Yeah, I was a little unsure about that one. OK, so now that I'm looking at this problem here, we've kind of made it into an easier problem for us to look at. This should be uh, kind of easy. Um, let's talk about it, Rika. So what's 0 plus 0? Zero? 0. Very good, very good. And how about 7 plus 6? Um, 13. Oh, very yep. nice. Now, very good. if I try to write 13 in here, wait a second. I can't, I can't do that. I can only write one number in here. Nope. So which number can I write in there, Rika? Is it going to be the 1 or the 3? Um, 3. Very nice, yep. very nice. Wait a second. Where does that 1 go? The 1 goes to 810. Oh, close. 1 higher 100. goes to the hundreds. Yep. Great hundreds. job. Very nice, because what, what we just did is we added 70 and 60 to get 130. So here's that 3 for the 30, that 1 for 100 is going to go right up there. So now we can add 100 plus 400 plus 300. But we're only going to simplify that down to 1 plus 4 plus 3 for this hundredths space. So Rika, what is 1 plus 4 plus 3? 1 plus 4 plus 3 equals 9. Very close. Super close. close. I think you added one too many. Um, 8. Great job. There you go. 8. So since we added these two numbers that were not exactly our original numbers, I want to just write a little note here. This is about, well, I guess I shouldn't write it over there because this addition here is correct. That looks beautiful. This sum here is about 830. Awesome. After Ish. we rounded that. We could, even, we could even draw a little estimating equal sign, a little squiggly oh, yeah. equal Oh, very sign. nice. I've seen that. And there's our about. There you go. You're using that symbol in third grade. Yeah. Rico, you've seen that before? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're very smart. You might not, yeah. It may, may or may not have happened in third grade, but you'll definitely have it in fifth grade, definitely have it in high school. Oh, yes. When Mr. Absolutely. Gosnell gets you. Yeah, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to use that. That might be a little, little crazy. Maybe very, she, very nice. She, we use that when we estimate. Yeah. You could bring Thank that you so back much, to Mr. Donovan, for bringing that in. Third grade classroom mm -hmm. and share it with your teacher. She oh, might be impressed. Is there an Ollie here? Oh, oh Ollie? Ollie? Yeah, that's me. Ollie? Oh, oh, hey, man. how's it going? Yeah, who are you? Oh, well, my <laughs> name is Sid. You may remember me from such excellent oh. shows as Kid Conversation or Sid's Brain Boosters. I know you. Hi, yeah. Sid. How you doing? I'm good. Well, listen, uh, you were supposed to, Max said you had some information on this awesome uh, destination getaway. Oh, yeah, the destination getaway. Did Max tell you? Yeah. Are you uh, coming? So can I be a part of that? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's kind of tough. You got to stand still for, you know, like weeks at a time. Can I can go that? check it out. OK, ready? Go. Oh, that's pretty good. He's pretty good. Hey, Sid, you're pretty good. You can come. Hey. All right, great. I'll get my stuff. Hey, go help Max. He's packing the hamsters. Sounds good. Oh, excellent. All right, I'll see you. Thanks. See you, Sid. Does he need to bring anything else, Ollie, or just hamsters and yogurt? Or Cottage all? cheese. And what? Cottage cheese. Co cottage cheese. <sighs> mm-hmm. And old copies of People magazine. You know, there's great articles in there. Oh, OK. You're going to be standing. What else are you going to do? Yeah, you know? that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you can move your arms? You just have to stand? Uh, well, that's a little gray area. It's kind of okay, tricky, okay. you know? You want to okay. stand, yes. You want to move, you know, ish. No. OK, all right. That's it's complicated, Mr. All right. Donovan. All right, Very let's, <laughs> let's drop that puck. Where were we? That's oh, here we go. Drop the puck. Another fidget spinner. Oh, awesome. A spinner. Very Yay. nice. Yay! Thank you for calling if you're still there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, we use math so many ways in life, not just in math class. Let's head out to the streets of BCPS to see who Maria is talking to now. Math on the street. Hola. Yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here at Warren Elementary in La Infant Maria, which is the nurse's suite, with Mrs. Melito. Hola, Mrs. Melito. Hola, Maria. Can you tell me how you use math as a nurse? 
Sure, I use math all day long in the health suite. When kids are sick, they come to visit me. First, I have to take their vital signs. I have to read my thermometer measuring their body temperature. I have to count how many times their heart beats in a minute to come up with their heart rate. I have to count how many times they breathe in a minute to come up with their respirations. If I need to give them medication, I have to weigh them and then I have to calculate how many grams of medication they need per pound. For instance, if they weigh 50 pounds, I have to then calculate 50 pounds times the amount of grams I want to give them per pound to come up with the dosage. I also use math to collect data. I fill out a tally sheet at the end of each day to see how many students I saw and what kind of illnesses they had. That way I can look for trends in illnesses and prepare for an outbreak like with the flu or uh, do some preventive measures if I see we're having a lot of injuries at our school. I also use math to stock my health suite, estimating how many ice packs I need based on how many ice packs I used in the days before. I also have to calculate how many supplies I need for my health suite based on how many students I have at my school. As you can see, Maria, I couldn't do my job as a school nurse without math. Wow, well thank you so much for sharing. Sure, thanks for coming. Adios. Adios. We are back. Man, I love those math on the street, don't you yeah, guys? That was really cool. Very informative stuff. It's amazing that math is everywhere. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Uh, Another whoa. visitor. <laughs> Excuse me, my name is Kevin. I'm looking for a, an Ollie. Oh, that's me. Oh, how's it going, Ollie? Hey, how you doing, Kevin? Oh, you I'm said good. Kevin, right? I'm good. My name's Kevin. Yeah, I'm excited. I had about 25 cups of coffee before I came over here. Doesn't wow. show. Oh, thanks. Listen, uh, uh, my buddy Max was telling me you guys are getting ready for this uh, destination uh, getaway. Yeah, you know Max? Oh, yeah, he's a good buddy of mine. <laughs> yeah, so are you coming to the destination getaway? Oh, it would be great if I could join you. Is that okay? Well, it's kind of an audition process. Okay, show, what show do you me what you do? got. Okay, go. What, what do you have to do? Well, you just have to stand still for, you know, like weeks, really. Oh, okay, check it out. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. had a lot of coffee. That's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's 25 good. cups. Did I tell you that? Yeah, but that was only like two seconds. Can okay, you hold yeah, well, you know, that's okay. Two seconds is on my way. Okay, you're invited. All right, great. I'll see you soon. I'll get my stuff. <laughs> All right, don't forget the Linda Ronstadt tapes. Wait, Linda Ronstadt, you got Cassette. All right, bye-bye. Cassette. I said bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, that guy was very guy normal. Was, he was very excited. Very excited. He's, yeah. He's, I think he's ready for that destination getaway. Oh, man, it's yeah. really the craze. Everyone's yeah. coming. It sounds like Turning it. Turning into quite a party. <laughs> quite a party. Uh-huh. You I guys like ready it. for another math problem? I think so. Okay, on the phone now, we have a fourth grader from Newtown Elementary. This is Amaya. Hello. Hi. Hi, Amaya. How are you? Good. I'm so happy you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. Boy, I hope so. You are in the right place. We are ready. What you got? 64 divided by 8. Oh, awesome. Pretty straight ahead. 64 divided by 8. Mm, awesome. A lot of division tonight. A lot of division. Amaya, what have you been doing at Newtown Elementary School that's been helping you solve these division problems like 64 divided by 8? Multiplication backwards. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. So if we have this division problem, um, 64 divided by 8, I'll put a little question mark here because we're not sure of this yet. What, what multiplication problem could we write to maybe solve this division problem? You know, we um, could... Sorry, go ahead. 8 times 8? Perfect, Look at right? That. Very nice. We right could to the end. kind of do what we, we, we did with the previous callers. We could write it backwards. I'm sensing a theme here. Right. Do our inverse operation using multiplication, and we could say, mm -hmm. well, if we have an unknown number times 8, what equals 64? Or blank times 8 equals 64. And Amaya knows her math facts so well that... She sure does. She already knew. She already knew it. What's... Um, so... 8 times 8 is 64. They look so like snowmen. What's that? The 8s look like snowmen. They look like a snowman. Yeah. Hey, there's one right there. <laughs> 8 times 8 is 64, and 64 divided by 8, Amaya, is how much? 8. 8. Here we go. Turn this question mark into an 8. Look at that. Nicely done. And it's Great kind of Christmas guys. colors. Look, see? Huh? Well, yeah, one of our hot days. Red I like green. it. green. Cool. Hey, Amaya, does that help you out? Yes. All right, you know what it's time now for? The Puck the Bigger Prize Wall! Say, drop that puck, Amaya. 
Drop that back. Come on, squishy guy. Crazy oh, keychain. Crazy keychain. Crazy. Let's see that thing. What does that do? Oh, man, that's is crazy. That is crazy. Keychain, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy keychain. Cool. Amaya, thank you for calling. All right. We have another caller, Ollie? Oh, we probably do. You guys ready? I'm ready. Absolutely. Okay, on the phone now, we have a third grader from Hillcrest Elementary. This is Joshua. Hey, Hillcrest, I've been there. I was just there today. Uh -huh. Hi, Joshua. How are you? Good. We are just merry, merry, merry that you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. We are so ready. Look how ready we are. We're ready. Mm -hmm. Go for it. What you got? Round to the nearest times estimate. Five sixty plus two eighty nine. Five hundred sixty plus two hundred eighty nine, and and you're estimating. Yeah. I Great. heard the word estimate. I know it's five sixty three plus two eighty nine. Oh, five hundred sixty three. Okay, great. Good fix. I was about to say if that was five hundred sixty, I think some of our work is cut out for us. Right. Round to the nearest. What was that, Joshua? Ten. Ten. Cool. Beautiful. So, and we're going to add these numbers? I think so. Yeah. I, think, I think you said add. Did you okay. say add? Just, I think said add. just triple check in here That's before fine. we yeah. get started. Good. So, again, I'm looking at these numbers 563 and 289, yeah. and they're not really friendly to me. They're, they're kind of scary. You know, if I no, add wait, this wait, right wait, now, no. I'm gonna, I might make a lot of mistakes. So. No numbers are of, scary. A lot of regrouping. Yeah, well, I gotta, yeah we're going to tackle question. this head on. Joshua, I have a question. Well, so, if we're looking at 563 first, which number is in the tens place value? The six. The six. Yep. Okay, awesome. very nice. Okay. So we could like underline it or, yeah, highlight oh, it. I like that. Highlight look it. Look at that. Cool. Fancy. Okay. And then for the 289, what number is in the tens place? Eight. Yep. Sweet. Cool. Fancy. Nice and festive. Okay, so go. if I'm looking at this here, hmm, this three for 563. Is that high enough for me to change that six into a different number? And if so, what number would I change it into? All right, you know what, Joshua, I mean like to ask myself, if we look at the six and the three, the 63, is 63 closer to 60 or is it closer to 70? 60. It's closer yep. to Ooh, 60, right? Good question, cool. good answer there. So instead of 563, I want to use five. 60 and look at a different problem here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I like the way that you asked that, Mr. Donovan. So when I'm looking at 289, Joshua, would you say that that 89 is closer to 80 on this side, on the lower side, or 90 on the higher side? 90. Yep. Awesome. Very good. So maybe instead of 289, I want to use 290 to get some friendlier numbers right. involved. A little smiley face because they're so friendly. Joshua, I need your help adding here. Zero plus zero, what is that? Zero. Zero, that's gonna go in the what place? What place is this first number? One. Very nice, you know your stuff. All right, so to the next place here, what place would that be called? 10. Very, very good. Now we have to add six and nine, and what is that sum? 15. Now Joshua, were good you job. watching these last couple calls? Yeah. So can I write 15 down here like this? No. Oh, no. No, Can't do the that. tens place can only have one number in, in that spot. That one has to be written somewhere else. Where does that one get written? Five. Right, yep. above the five. five. Right? We'll regroup it. Cool. Very good. Yeah, we're going to have to regroup that. I have to remember that vocabulary word. That's a good one. Regrouping. Okay, now when I add in the last place here, what place do we have here, Joshua, with the one, the five, and the two? Eight. That does and add to eight, and yep, there you go. It's in the hundreds place. So it looks like if I were to try and add 563 and 289, my answer would be very close to 850, and I'm going to use that fancy symbol there. Oh, there it is. Awesome. It means about, right? Is that what that means? Very nice. Yes. Yeah. About 850. There we go. Cool. Great job, Joshua. Joshua, who's your math teacher at Hillcrest Elementary School? Miss Brand. Over. Oh, Miss Brandover, cool. Uh, well, hopefully, uh, you know, well, you've been definitely been doing a great job, Miss Brandover's class, and hopefully in a couple it years shows. you might be in my math class, which would be pretty cool too. Great job. There you go. 
Well, guess what it's time now for, Joshua? What? It's time to figure out what your prize is for calling. Here we go, the puck to pick a prize wall. Joshua, can you yell, drop that puck? Drop that puck. Great job. Water bottle. Yay, the water bottle. Great job, Joshua. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Oh, another mm -hmm. visitor. Oh, man, who's that? Hey, is there an Ollie around oh, here? Oh, that's me, Ollie. Hey. Ollie the ostrich, what's up? My name is Billy Burke Buford. Oh. And I am looking to join you guys for your one-of-a-kind destination getaway. Oh, man, word travels fast. Oh. Yeah. So but, you got some room for me? You know, we could squeeze some room in. Sure. Fantastic. But here's a question there. Can oh. you stand still for, you know, like weeks at a time? Can I stand still? Yeah. That is what I am best at. Check this out. Show us. <laughs> Hello? Wait. Oh, you're doing it now. Man, you're good. You're good. He's good. He's ready. I don't even have to blink. Yeah, I can tell. It's easy. I don't even have eyelids. Yeah, but that makes it real <laughs> simple, doesn't it? I'm a natural. It? You seem very natural. You're very, yes. very okay, tall. Well, why don't you go help Max pack? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I'll get my stuff. Don't forget the weighted blankets. The weighted blankets. Yep. Absolutely. They're all the craze now. All righty. Okay. I'll see you around, partner. See you, partner. Boy, what a character. Who was that guy, Ollie? Do you know his name? I've never seen him before. The name was oh. Billy Burke Buford. Oh, right. Billy Burke. Oh, cool. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Uh, something like that, yeah. Okay. Cool, got it. Okay. Thanks, yeah, thanks Billy. Do you want to see me not blink again? Sure, show us. Check it out. Okay. Wow. That's kind of creepy, Billy. I I'm can jealous. do it all day. Kind of creepy. <laughs> all right, then. But you're really thanks, good Billy. at it. Thank you. Are you really that tall, Billy, or are you s sitting I'm on the- I'm a very tall man who also happens to own some stilts. Oh, cool, okay. So it's a little bit of both. Doubling down there. Yep. Nice. All right, thanks, Billy. All right, gentlemen. Bye you bye. seem totally normal. See you around. <laughs> okay. Bye, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Goodbye. Wow, what a nice guy. <laughs> Interesting guy. I wonder why he doesn't have eyelids. Well, they're overrated. Check my eyes out. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? I'm not going to be right? able to I don't see stare that. Too, it's a puppet thing. You wouldn't I don't understand. I want to stare too hard, Ollie. You're, it's a puppet It's thing. kind of mesmerizing. Wait, yeah. Can I Mesmerizing. Oh, it's wow, a puppet wow, thing. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, where were we? Uh, I think we're oh, going to get Matt. another caller. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys ready? That's ready. ready. Who's works. next? Okay, on the phone now, we have Amaya. She's in third grade at Norwood Elementary. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you, Amaya? I'm good. We are just happy we called. We're you so see happy. all the Christmas lights we put up? We put up festive lights just for you. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. All right, we're ready for your math problem. What you got? Jimmy, what? Apple picking at a located orchard something. Orchard? Orchard? Or oh, at a farm. I think an orchard, okay. Sure. She picked seven apples from six trees. Each, each, how many apples did she pick in total? Show A and the A. And raise to and multiply to. Okay, great. So we're gonna we're gonna solve this problem about the apples in the orchard using an array. Now, is it Amaya or Amya? Amaya. 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 How many apples did they pick? Oh, sorry. How many trees did they visit? Is that what you said? Six. Six trees. Okay. And how many apples from each tree did they pick? Seven. Seven. Okay, cool. All right, this makes a lot more sense. They must have been very selective. And they must have. They're, well, they're probably picking the best apples. Yeah, exactly. Do you need any apples for your destination getaway? Yeah, you got some? Um, I think we could borrow some Pick from some Amaya. Pick some up after the show. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Amaya, we, yeah. need, we need to draw an array. How could you describe to me what an array is? Uh, array is like, <clears throat> it's something that you can count on. Right. I like that. Something that we can count on, right? Great. You know, I, I was friends with Ray in high school, and you could really count on him. Oh, oh Ray. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Very nice, reliable. Nice guy. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay, Amaya. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this seven apples, and I'm going to kind of draw seven apples as if they were on a tree. One, two, or as if they were a tree. Four, five, six, seven. So there's beautiful. 
There's one tree, right? You're very good at balancing apples. Well, you know, I try. So I'm going to do this for how many trees, Amaya? Seven. Oh, well, Wait. there's seven apples Wait. on six. six trees, right? There you go. So I'm going to do this six times. So there's two trees. Beautiful tree. And if I have six apples on the first tree and six apples on the third tree, how many apples do I have so far? Um, you have in total? Yeah, so far on two trees, how many do I have? Uh, you have two, four, six, eight. 14. Close. Yeah, we oh, I, a little oh two there. 12. 14. Sorry, I thought we had six again. I'm mixing up my numbers as well. Seven <laughs> times two, we have 14, right? And yeah. if I did that on a third tree, I would have 21. If I did it on a fourth tree, I would oh, have 28. Oh, you need to water that tree. How many trees do I need? One, oh, make this a little, make these uh, a little more round. That tree was looking a little weak. I should have made them red apples. They look like Dr. Seuss trees. That would have made more oh. sense. So I have one two, three, four, five trees. They might be planted oh, oh. too close together, Mr. Donovan. Uh, too many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The roots are going to overlap. They're going to be fighting for water. You should probably spread oh, wait, them Wait, how out. many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. What am I doing? I'm, I'm having messing a rough you up day, Amaya. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of my job. I keep mixing up all these sixes and sevens. Okay. Do we have six trees? Yes. Okay, Amaya. So now we have our six trees on the bottom, or we could count our six trees, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have seven in each. So we could do six times seven will give us the total number of apples that we have. Do you okay. know what six times seven is? Six times seven? Yep. Uh, 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 let's see. One. We could count up all these apples if we wanted and we'd get all the way up to our answer. Six times seven is 42. It is 42. Very nice. Great job. And That's I bet if we counted up all these apples, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. We have 42 apples. Great that is going to be a Maya. huge pie. That's a lot of apples. That is like a massive yep. pie. I just counted them, made sure. That is definitely oh, 42 apples. Can you can you let Ollie borrow some of the apples, Amaya, for his destination getaway? Yes. Yeah. Right, perfect. Thank cool. you. That's so nice of you and generous. That's very generous. You know what? It's our turn to be generous. Do you know what it's time now for? What time for? You got it. Oh, she said, can you say drop that puck, Amaya? Drop that puck. Drop Let's see what we're going to trade for those apples. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? What's it going to do? What do I get? Hey, you win a squishy guy. There's a squishy he's, guy. He's squishy, you see? Yay. Squishy. He's always Don't so squish happy to be squished. too hard. His arms might pop off. I was kind of waiting oh. for that to happen. Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you did? <laughs> oh, you know Max, too? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so the destination getaway. You want to audition? Oh, good boy. Show us. Sit still. Still. Up. Oh, well. Don't move. That, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, you want to come on the trip with us? That's fine. We would love to have you. Oh, man. Okay, I'll tell him you said that. Okay. Wow, that was really, he's really nice. Another person. Bye, Bye. Maya, thank you. Thank you. Another, you have a dog, you have a He wanted man. me to tell you that your apple trees were mm, pretty good looking. Delicious, oh, thanks. <laughs> he used other words, but I think they were great looking. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. He doesn't that. know you the way I do. Thanks, Al, you, you always have my back, you know that? You got it, man. Cool. Did he yeah. say they were a little rough? He said they were really crooked. <laughs> he didn't like that. But he's a dog. What are did you gonna he, do? Did he mention the bark on the trees? Oh, you're good. That should have been my joke. That's right. Jeez. <laughs> hey, you guys ready for another caller? I think so. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do on it. On the phone Let's now see. from Hillcrest Elementary. Oh, Hillcrest. I was there just today. Sounds yeah, familiar. Hillcrest. Another Parker Hillcrest. School. What we, grade? Uh, second grade. Oh, we have grade. Sophia. Cool. Hello. Hello. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Good. Sophia, I'm tickled purple that you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. We are so ready. What you got? Okay, um, Leo had 62 cents. 
In, he, in his piggy bank, he spent 50 cents on a candy bar. How many cents mm. does Leo have left in his piggy bank? What three coins represent the money Leo has left? Okay, represent that with, you said three coins? Yeah. And you said, how much money did he have in the beginning? No. 52. No. 52. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he spent 50 cents on a candy bar. Yeah. And you need to represent your answer with three coins? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, great. So this last problem here, we're probably going to have to look at over off to the side. So let's just take a look at that 62 cents and spending 50 cents. Um, Sophia, what strategies have you learned uh, at Hillcrest to help you out with a problem um, like this? Number line and sometimes okay. like tally mark. Very oh, cool. nice. I like that. Cool. Those work. I like that you were able to say that because that really helps me. I teach high school and sometimes the way that I look at problems are a lot different than how you would look at them, Sophia. So thank you very much for that hint. So if we draw a number line, it looks like we start off at 62 cents. And here's a question for you. Are we going up the number line or down the number line? We're going down the number line. Yep. Right. Very, very nice. Now, if I were to write it out like this, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, man, I would be here all day because I'm spending 50 cents. So I want to make sure that I'm counting by a good number. Sophia, help me out here. What would you count by if you were spending 50 cents. Is there a better way to count that out instead of once? Um, 10. Very I like good. That. I like that a lot. So if we were just going to chunk this, not into 50 cents, but subtracting 10 cents at a time, what happens if I were to spend 10 cents for my 62? What would I end up with? That's a tough one. So 52. Very nice. Ah, 52. All right. So that's, that's 10 of my 50 cents. Let's Let's do it again, Sophia. I spend another 10 cents. What am I? Careful, you gotta spend with? all your cents. Running out of money. Mm -hmm. Wait, and what was your question? 42. Good job. Very good. Okay, 42. So that's 20 cents so far. That's two jumps on our number line of 10. Great job. Put another 10 up here to keep track. And let's go ahead and do that one more time. We're actually gonna do it a few times here. Yep, 32. 32. That's three times. One more jump for me, 32 to what number? 22. Almost there. OK, that's 40 of our cents, 10, 20, 30, 40. And that last one is going to be? 12. 12, very good. So good after job. she spends 50 cents, it looks like she's going to be left with 12 cents. And now we, we have to represent this with three coins. So we're going to do that really quickly really before quick. we sign off with you Almost here. Almost out of time. Really hmm, quick. 12 cents. Hmm, hmm. Well, let's see. I have a coin that represents. 10 cents. That's going to be my hint to you. What are going to be the next two coins? 10 cents and two pennies. There you Ooh, go. Very That's nice. It. So we didn't use any nickels, didn't use any quarters. We cool. can represent that 12 cents with a dime, a penny, and a penny. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your call. Cool. Great job, Sophia. To drop the puck? Let's drop the puck. Sophia, can you say drop that puck? Here we go. Drop that puck. All right. <laughs> Drop that puck. A squishy. squishy oh, whoa, guy. I haven't seen that happen before. I think it's wow. either way. It's on the squishy guy, no matter which way we go. She should get an extra prize for that. <laughs> uh, maybe she should. Thank you for Thanks. calling. <laughs> Thanks, Sophia. Great <laughs> job. Oh, right whoa. just in time. We're about to leave. Oh, perfect. Stay right there, OK? okay. Well, you heard them, kids. That's Let's all the time we step. have for this episode. Ready? Be sure to tune in when we return after the winter break. Let's do it again. Remember, we Ready? do re-air each episode, so be sure and watch. You can even watch these episodes online on our YouTube page. Check it out. Be sure to tell your friends to watch, too. We're looking forward to seeing everybody again next time. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays, everyone. Bye-bye.